calculate cos inverse cos 8. How do we calculate this? C. We should get the answer to this one. So let us take the answer to be y. And the condition is y should lie in the range of cos inverse which is 0 to pi. Our answer should lie in this interval. Clear with this point? Next. Shift cos inverse to the other side. It will become cos y. And this no change. Now comparing both sides we get y to be 8. Does this lie in this interval? No. So reject this answer. Next. Cos 8 exceeds that interval. So we should decrease it. To decrease I subtract to 2 pi. Now whatever we are subtracting we should also add the same thing. Important point remember here. In cos inverse sums we should always subtract only even multiples of pi. That is 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi like this. Remember this. Next. Cos this 2 pi now I write at the start followed by this in the brackets. Okay. Next. Here we have pi so cos is not going to change it will remain cos and inside we get this angle. Now the question is will we get here plus or minus. To answer that we should look at the number before pi which is 2 and 2 is even and all the even multiples of pi they lie in either in the first or in the fourth quadrant. So now to select the quadrant we should look at this symbol. Here we have plus that means angle lies in the first quadrant and in the first quadrant cos is positive so put plus. Now on the other side no change equal to cos y. Comparing both sides we get y to be 8 minus 2 pi. Does this lie in this interval? Yes. So this is our answer.